this video we're going to construct the tangents to a circle using the tools up here and then what we'll do in the next video is we'll enter the line by line input commands to do the same thing because I think those are two different approaches each with their own advantage so the first thing I would do is click my circle tool up here right create a circle with a center through a point and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some point outside of the circle somewhere. And if you're teaching this, of course, encourage students to pick points at different locations to see how that affects the tangent lines. So I'll just pick a point right here, and we'll call it point C. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line segment between points A and C, like this. And then I'm going to find the midpoint of that line. So I click the line right there. Now I have this center D right here. That'll be the center of my new circle. So I create a center, uh, a circle off of the midpoint of D that passes through C and A. And now I'm ready to create my tangent lines. All I need to do at this point is intersect my two circles. So I go right here, this circle, and that circle. And notice it intersects at two points, F and E. And what I'm going to do is, well, pick my line tool here and create a line that goes through point C and F. And there's one tangent line, right? And there's another. And here you can zoom out to see what's happening. You could hide objects to make this clearer. And you can even play with it to get a sense of what's happening. Right? To see if you would pick C in a different location, how this would affect your lines. Right? And you can go the other side over here. Encourage students to play with this and ask them guided questions so that by playing with this diagram, they're able to learn about tangent lines. Another way to go about doing this is when you create your circle, to use the tangent tool up here. And what it's asking you to do is to select a point and then the circle, and it'll create a tangent line to that point. And I could add more points on this circle and then do the same thing. Add a point here, or here, or there, and then create the tangent lines to the circle. Right? This is also a useful tool. You can explore the same properties as before or others, but you can quickly create tangent lines in that way. Alright, thanks.